here tonight to help as Bento the Clown introduces the show. Unfortunately, Bento does not speak anything other than clown. So I attended the clown's conservatory and I am fluent in clown. So I shall interpret. Why is there still music on Bando? Oi. I have to do everything myself, just like at home. and what a lovely person to introduce me. All right, what do I say first? Good evening and welcome to tonight's show. For the sake of the performers and those around you, we ask that you silence all electronic devices at this time. Including small children. Tonight we will be performing Super Comics, a humorous story that features a comic town, a bad guy, a comedy club filled with corny and slapstick humor, much like Mr. DeLong's bathroom, <laughs> and some superheroes ready to save their beloved town. We have some thank yous first of all. First of all, we want to say thank you to our understudy extraordinaire, Maya Reed. She is filling in a part tonight. Maya Reed will be filling in the part of Marty Chuzzlewit. Yes. Uh, Maya was at every single rehearsal. She pretty much uh, understudied everyone at some point, except for Bando. All right, we'd like to thank Mrs. Smith, Cheyenne's mother, for making capes. We'd like to thank the custodians for helping with setup and props. Mr. Golden for helping with scenery. Dr. Santor for, you know, just being him. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Walls. Uh, they are helping with videotaping this evening. Also, Ron Gaw from the Caesar Radio School District office will be taking a lot of photographs of me <laughs> and tonight's performance. All pictures taken will be posted on the district website by tomorrow afternoon. Are you sure you want to put that deadline on yourself? That's a little tight. Okay. Just go to the district website and click on photos where tonight's performance will appear in a photo album for your viewing and sharing pleasure. Thank you. Do you, do you want I don't think these are that funny. You want them? You want jokes? All right. To get you started and in a corny mood, Bando wants me to share some jokes with you. Which one is this? A cartoonist was found dead in his home. Details are sketchy. <laughs> Why were the Native Americans able to settle here first? Because they had reservations. <laughs> Oy. Did you hear about the cross-eyed teacher who lost her job because she couldn't control her pupils? <laughs> uh, that's a good one. I like that one. That was good. Is that good? I know a guy who is addicted to brake fluid, but he says he can stop any time. <laughs> now that you are in the mood, uh, we did a theatrical performance on puns. It was a play on words. And finally, please sit back and enjoy tonight's performance of Super Comics. Right. 
mayor. Here comes the past and the rest of the town too, by the looks of it. <laughs> That's it. Back it up, folks. We don't care any minute, so no funny business. What do you mean, no funny business? This is Comedyville. <laughs> <laughs> Say, how many police commissioners does it take to screw in a light bulb? The mayor's coming! The mayor's coming! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this morning's big speech by the mayor of Comedyville. This morning, the mayor will be making a major announcement for the future of Comedyville. And now, the person left on the way to the city hall, here's the mayor! Good morning, Comedyville! Good morning, Mayor! Hey, McMahon, you know the last night I slept on a corduroy pillow? You slept on a corduroy pillow? Yep, and this morning, it's making headlines. <laughs> You know what I, went, I did yesterday? What did you do yesterday? I went down and got a new car for my mom. You got a new car for your mom? Yes, I tell you, it was the best train I ever made. <laughs> <laughs> did you have an announcement to make? I can't stop traffic all day. With a face like that, I don't see why not. <laughs> <laughs> Commissioner Jordan is right. Ladies and gentlemen, you all know that in Comedyville, nothing is more important than laughter. From the rubber chicken factory, to the clown school, to the laugh riot, Comedy is the lifeblood of this town. But you also know that our economy is a bit rocky. Rubber chicken sales are down, clowns are unemployed, and the knock knock family as well. They're, They're having some hard knocks. <laughs> what we need to say, Comedyville, is a way to export our comedy. To do that, I've invited a big Hollywood producer to town this weekend. Over the weekend, Comedyville will also sponsor its first annual Comedy Festival. <laughs> in the economic revival of Comedyville. Until then, everyone, keep laughing! No, you keep laughing! <laughs> <laughs> Great speech, Mayor. Now we got to get you over to the update of the statue of the largely forgotten Harold Lloyd. Who was Harold Lloyd? I don't know. I've largely forgotten. Okay, but before we go, I want you to take a look at this new flower I've got. What kind of flower is it? This kind. <laughs> That's a good one. You're a funny guy. That's why I'm the mayor. <laughs> Say, you're the police commissioner, right? That's right, Commissioner Jordan. Can you tell me why everyone around here says keep laughing? It must be new around here. Yeah, I just learned from Metropolis. My name is Drew Davidson. I'm a new photographer for the Daily Groaner. Well, keep laughing is kind of like the fish of goodbye comedy, though. Keep laughing, huh? That's right. After all, this is Comedyville. All my town. Can I ask you another question? Sure. Why is there a tumbling mat in the middle of the street? Oh, that's for Pratt Falls. Woo! Woo! Not Cat Falls, Pratt Falls. I beg your pardon? <laughs> Pratt Falls, you know, slapstick comedy. Here, I'll show you. Whoa! <laughs> hey, what did you do that for? Are you okay? Of course I'm okay. I just took a Pratt fall, that's all, and a pretty good one too. That was hilarious. You mean you did that on purpose? You're not from around here, are you? She's new in town. That's okay, you'll catch on soon. Keep laughing. No, you keep laughing. So, you're gonna work for the Daily Grunner, huh? That's right. Well, here comes one of your new coworkers. Good luck the job. And remember, yeah, keep laughing. Hey, you must be our new photographer. That's right, my name's Drew Davidson. Drew Davidson? You aren't an evil genius, are you? No, why do you ask? It's just that all evil geniuses have names with, with alliteration. Bless you. You know, the Green Goblin, Lex Luthor. Anyway, I'm a reporter for the Daily Grover. My name's Pat Shaggy Dog Story, and I'll be showing you. Wait, did you say your name was Pat Shaggy Dog Story? That's right. Isn't that sort of a strange name? I don't think so. I know a lot of people named Pat. <laughs> Not the cat part, the shaggy dog part. You aren't from around here, are you? People keep asking me that. I'm from Gotham City by way of Metropolis. Well, you've got a little bit to learn about Comedyville. Take our names for instance. Every family in Comedyville is named after a type of human. Mine is the shaggy dog story family. What's the shaggy dog story? Oh, this is going to be a long day. 
The Shaggy Dog story is a long story with lots of irrelevant details and a not particularly funny ending. So I don't like this story, is he right, Ata? Right you are, Chief. So, who's the Greenhorn? Chief, I'd like you to meet our new photographer, Drew Davidson. Drew, this is our editor-in-chief, Chief Brother. Say, you're not an evil genius, are you? No, sir, it's just a lure. Bless you. I'm pleased to meet you. Likewise, Editor Governor, call me Chief. Um, boss, I mean Chief. What is it, kid? Could you maybe let go of my hand? Story of me again, 10 minutes past. Kid, that's a nice gift you got there, but there's something you should know. What's that, boss? I mean Chief. That's not my hand. Ah! <laughs> That was a good one, Chief. I gotta hand it to you. You gotta hand it to me? I had to hand it to Drew. <laughs> That's the last time I leave my slapstick on the typewriter. Good morning, Bogville. I'd like you to meet our new photographer, Drew Davidson. How's that? This is Drew Davidson, our new photographer. Did you steal my slapstick? No, sir. Drew didn't steal your slapstick. Why can't people leave my slapstick alone and tell I ask? It's a pleasure. Spending the night in three different rooms in the Holiday Inn. In the middle of the night, the first boy scout 